everyone, welcome to my channel and thanks for tuning in. This week's reading is for March 20th to the 26th. And remember that this is just a general reading for everybody, so if you would like a personal reading that's just for you, book a private reading with me. And my contact information is in the description box below. Alright, and I first want to wish everybody a happy Ostara. And Ostara is a pagan holiday that celebrates the spring equinox, which is on March 20th this year. And the spring season brings us all a fresh start. And so this is a perfect week to do some spring cleaning. You know, this is a week for us to purify the space around us and to release what no longer serves us. This is a week to get rid of the baggage. Um, we're about ready to enter a new cycle, and this is a positive new cycle, and this new chapter, it has no room for the baggage. Um, so this week, this is the week to, to just let go and to release what no longer serves us. Let's make room for this new chapter, this new beginning. Um, and the turtle is coming in as a spirit guide to help us all to stay grounded, this week it's important for us to stay focused, to stay grounded, and to be in the present moment because that is where our true power lies. Being in the present moment is the way forward. Um, by being in the present moment, we manifest our goals. We're not doing ourselves any favors by dwelling about the past or worrying about the future. You're not getting in anything done by doing that. Um, by being in the present moment, we actually get things accomplished. All right, and, and also this week, I feel like it's important for us to have confidence in ourselves and to have confidence in our decisions. Um, and I also want to mention that the sun is entering the sign of Aries on March 20th. And I just love the energy of Aries. You know, this energy is bringing us more motivation, determination. You know, it's giving us that spring in our step. You know, it's bringing us more passion, inspiration. You know, I just feel like we're getting that much-needed second win this week. All right. And let's get to the cards now. The card... That represents our goals this week is this beginnings card and this card represents a full card um, and this card has the goddess Tara on it and that's my name how I love this card all right and so with this beginnings card I feel like this week we are embracing a new chapter I feel like we are wanting a fresh start and this card is all about pure potential the possibilities are endless. It's like we're being handed a, a blank canvas here, and it's up to us on, you know, what we want to paint, what we want to create, what we want to do. You know, the possibilities are endless here. We can, we're given opportunity to create the life that we want to live. And I feel like this week we're embracing change. We're embracing you know, our dreams. And I feel like this week it's so important to to really tune into that Aries energy. Just go for it. Just do it. You know, don't think too hard. Just do it. Just go for it and have confidence in yourself. All right. And the card that represents us this week is the Ten of Pentacles. So it seems like we are trying to, you know, bring a sense of balance into our lives. And we are trying to stay grounded this week. And once again, the turtle is coming in as a spirit guide to help us to stay grounded. And also, there's a tree in this picture. Being by trees really does help us stay grounded. So, you know, be by trees this week. Hug a tree. <laughs> All right. Um, this week, once again, it's just so important for us to stay grounded, to stay in the moment, and to just stay focused, and, and to just... Remember that our true power does lie by being in the present moment. And that's just so important for us to remember this week. All right. And the challenge this week is the two of wands. So for some of you, I feel like this is about time. I feel like you're wanting to balance out your time better. Um, 
And our strength this week is this balance card here. And this card represents a temperance card. And it has the goddess Yamena on it. And this week, yeah, I feel like we're trying to bring a sense of balance into our lives. I feel like we've been feeling like things haven't been balanced. It's like we're trying to balance, you know, work and play. And I just feel like this is like a time management thing. Um, and also, I feel like for some of you, this may be a choice. You've been having a hard time making a certain choice, but I feel like once again, it's so important for us to just get grounded, to meditate, to slow down. And I feel like, you know, the answer, you know, the answer within. And when you're grounded, you're able to think more clearly. And I feel like the answer will just come to you when you're, you know, after you've meditated and just, you know, taking the time to just slow down and to get grounded, the answer then will just flow naturally to you. And I feel like it's so important for us to, to just, you know, to be in the moment and to go with the flow and to just trust how we're feeling about things. You know, you truly do know which way to go, which choice to make. And I feel like it's important for us to have confidence in our choices this week. All right, and once again, our strength this week is balance. So this week we need to do things that bring a sense of balance into our life. And we need to do things that help us feel more at peace. You know, maybe, you know, listen to relaxing music or go on a nature walk. But just do things that help you feel more at peace. All right, and what Spirit is helping us with is the Seven of Swords. And... Before I pulled this card, Spirit told me that your spirit guides want you to be confident in your choices and to be confident in you this week. Believe in yourself. This is not the week to be easily swayed, okay? Stick to your own convictions. Um, You know, stick to what you think is right. This week, it's so important for us to make the choices that we feel is right. Um, you know, don't be easily swayed by other people. Um, this could be, you know, maybe somebody thinks they, they know the best path for you, but you know that you're not really suited for that path. I feel like it's important for you to follow your heart and to not second guess yourself. You know what's the right thing to do. You know what path you want to take. And I, I just feel like it's so important for you to have confidence in your choices and what you feel is right. Don't let people talk you out of your dreams. Um, you know, you do what you feel is right to do this week. We got to really listen to ourselves. Um, and also, once again, it's important for us to stay grounded because when we're grounded, that gives us like clear thoughts, you know, we're able to see the truth more clearly. And also if somebody's being like overly critical of you this week, you know that's not true. You know, the negative things that other people have to say about you, you know that's not true. And so this week, it's so important for us to tap into the truth. And we're able to tap into the truth is when we're grounded. All right. And advice from Spirit is the Five of Cups. And Spirit is really wanting us to be open to change. We really need to embrace this new cycle. You know, it looks like she's leaving something behind. Yes, it may be painful to leave something behind to walk away from a toxic situation. You know, you may feel like you're at a loss, but really, you're gaining so much more. And this is the outcome card, the nine of pentacles. We are gaining so much more by just releasing what no longer serves us, by walking away. You know, these cups fell down for a reason. You know, we need to not dwell on it. We need to embrace this new chapter, be in the moment, not in the past. And, and once again, you may feel like you're at a loss, you know, it can, it can be hard, you know, to let go, you know, to move on. It can be difficult. Sometimes it does feel like we're at a loss, even if it's a change we know we need to make, even if we're in a toxic situation, sometimes it, it can be hard to move forward. But this week, I feel like it's so important for us to just move forward and know that you're, you're not really at a loss here. You're gaining so much more. You know, maybe that relationship didn't work out for you, but by moving on, you're opening yourself up. You're making room for a better relationship, you know, a better partner that's better suited for you or a better job that's better suited for you 
or, you know, a better home house, you know, that's better suited for you. But I just feel like we need to, we need to be open to change, you know, no matter how difficult that may seem. And to remember that we're not really at a loss. We are really gaining so much more. And I feel like we're gaining more confidence this week, you know, I feel like this week we're learning to be more stronger within ourselves and have more self-confidence and to just believe in ourselves and to not let, you know, this week we're finding that peace within, you know, we're finding out that peace truly comes within, you know, we can't always control the other people around us or, you know, or, you know, you know, we can't always control everything is what I'm trying to say, but we can... We can find that peace within. Um, and I feel like we're finding that... We're tapping into that inner strength, that inner power. We're discovering that that peace truly comes from within. And we're finding, like... I just feel like there's just so much more confidence headed our way. Alright, and I also pulled a card from the Conscious Spirit deck by Kim Dreyer. And we got... Fire Elemental. And so, yeah, this week is all about embracing that fire energy. Aries is a fire sign. And this card has a mantra on it that says, I ignite the fire within me that connects me to the the divine. And once again, yeah, this week is all about embracing that fire energy. And to, you know, find inspiration. Follow your passions. You know, change things up. Have some fun. You know, fire... Energy is also a lighthearted energy. Have some fun. Follow your joy. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. And thanks so much for subscribing. And now I'm going to pull a card for the signs. Hi, air signs. You got the tower and the sun goddess card. And the sun goddess card says, I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healthy energies of the sun. And I feel like this week it's important for you to really embrace that fire energy, you know, to find inspiration, you know, get moving, you know, be out in nature, you know, spend some time outdoors. Um, and, and yeah, I just feel like this is a week for you to get moving because, you know, if you feel like the energy has been sna- stagnant, um, that's the way to get things moving by, you know, getting active. It really does stir the energy up around us. And... With the tower card, some changes are fast approaching you. Um, Yeah, and I just feel like you're... It's like you're releasing what no longer serves you. You know, what needs to, you know, fade away in your life is fading away now. Um, You know, I just get this sense that, you know, some of you are walking away from toxic relationships or situations. But it just seems like what needs to fade away out of your life is... Fading away. It's getting removed. All right. We'll have a wonderful week. Air signs. Hi, water signs. You got the Ace of Swords and the third eye chakra. And this card says, I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. And so, yeah, this week, lots of, like, inspiration and good ideas are headed your way. Um, It... There is some sort of victory for you, you know, I just feel like you're coming up with a good strategy, some really good ideas, and I feel like it's really important for you to really, to listen to your own inner wisdom and guidance, you know, trust your intuition, trust your decisions, because you really do, I just feel like you are in, you're in touch with the truth, and you really do know how to move forward with something. All right, we'll have a wonderful week water signs. Hi, earth signs. You've got the six of wands and the spirit awakens card. And this card says, I embrace my soul purpose and align all aspects of my life to it fully. And yeah, this week, I feel like you're really wanting to follow your passions. And the six of wands, this card represents Jupiter and Leo. And I feel like you're really wanting to express yourself. You're just going for it. I feel like you have a lot of self-confidence. You're not worried about other people are going to think of you. You're just going for it. You're just being yourself. And I'm really happy to see this. I just feel like you're embracing who you are. And you're staying true to you. And you're, you know, you're following your joy. You're following your passions. You know, you're having the courage to just be you. And, you know, you're really following your heart here. 
And, and this card also can represent, you know, positive recognition, some sort of victory as well. So just know that by following your dreams, there is a true victory in store for you. All right, well, have a wonderful week. Much love and many blessings. Hi, Fire Signs. This week, you got the Ten of Swords and the Sacred Space card. And this card has a mantra on it that says, I find peace, security, and contentment when surrounded by nature's beauty. And yeah, this is a week for you to find some time where you can just be alone and to just to feel at peace. Like, do things that help you feel more at peace. You know, maybe listen to relaxing music or, you know, be out in nature. I love being by trees. They help me feel more grounded. And I feel like this week is a week for you to, you know, restore some balance. Um, and with this Ten of Swords card, this week is all about moving on. Moving on from... You know, what no longer serves you. You know, I feel like this week you're moving on from a difficult situation. And, you know, and I feel like you are embracing change. And you're just, you know, releasing what no longer serves you. You know, this is the time for you to just let go. Because, you know, you are about ready to, you know, start a new chapter. And this is a positive new chapter for you. Alright, we'll have a wonderful week. Fire signs.